What is up guys, this is me, Johnny Cooper 64 here with another YouTube video, and welcome to my part 2 of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Let's Play on Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Now we're going to be going to the second warp room. Let's enter. Now, of course, in the original, you know, once you go up the you know the elevator, you enter the boss battle, but you know, they gave the boss battle their own um their own little uh, gate. Well, let's see where is it at it's over here my dudes you see this this is uh, the Komodo bros gates now where is it? you know I actually noticed how they made the um, the warp room smaller uh, I guess you know they removed the little um you know safe file that they had you know like in the uh, first warp room there's like this you know safe um, not safe file but like the safe uh, place you know where you you know you saved your games or you know you loaded your games you know I think they deleted that from like the warp room 2 3 4 and 5 you know they only kept it in the first one you know you know just for memories I guess now the, the word uh, show snow biz is you know a reference to show biz oh crap you know, I love those little um references that you know the level you know, levels from crash does you know as in the in the real real world you can say you know you, you got to show your business show biz you know now and the other you know other level you know the little penguins you know that slide is actually these guys the little walrus which just flipping killed me god damn it if only they made their, you know, their hitboxes more smaller, you know, I could have hit them. And the physics, you know, when, you know, sliding over the, you know, the little glass, little, um, uh, little snow is the, they made it, they try to make it more realistic in a way, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the instead of keeping it cartoony like in the original, you know, they made it a bit too realistic. Ooh, over here we have a Sonic the Hedgehog. Now today, uh, what a weird day is that I was actually making a hedgehog. I think those are supposed to be porcupines, but whatever. Um, yeah, those are porcupines. But today I was making a hedgehog during my art class. Uh, there's these kids, you know, that uh, are making eagles, and you know, for like, um, you know, in hedgehogs in cartoons, they have like these little, um, how do I say this? Uh, like, they're not, like, really spikes, but, like, uh, it's supposed to kind of represent spikes, but not, like, really in a way. You know what I'm saying? For me, you know, I try to make the spikes for my hedgehog realistic, except, you know, the, for them, it was, like, eagles. Now, you know, there was, like, this um, art teacher, you know, who was, like, inspecting, and, you know, they saw the, you know, the eagles from them, and, you know, they saw, like, the... You know, how, like, the cartoonish hedgehogs have, you know, for the spikes. And, you know, they were like, oh, you're building a hedgehog? But they were like, no, you know, they're in, I'm building an eagle. For me, I was building a hedgehog. Except mine just looked like a rat. And, you know, because I, I still haven't built the, um, you know, the little spikes. Except, you know, today I did it. But, you know, back then, I didn't. And, you know, they told me, you know, is that, are you making a rat? I'm like, yeah. But, you know, when they asked the other guy, I was like, holy hell, dude, this guy looks more, this guy's uh, little sculpture looks more like um, a hedgehog than an eagle. More like a hedgehog than, you know, what I'm building. You know, that's, uh, that kind of sucks for me in a way, but, you know, whatever. Now, this level, Air Crash, is, I guess, supposed to be a reference to Nike's popular line, uh, Air Jordans, I guess, Air Jordans Shoes. Named after the famous basketball player himself, Michael Jordan. And we have a little bit of snow, you know, kind of melting down. Little waterfall, you know, falling down, drooping over. Ooh. Alright, let's go back. Ooh, zero lives. Are we gonna. Now, you know what's funny is that we, in the prequel level to this, for the, like, the first episode of the Crash Bandicoot 2 Let's Plays, I got a game over into, like, the prequel of this. And now I'm gonna get a game over again, but this time, you know, to this level. Or, like, ooh, my flippin' god, I actually thought I died, but I forgot I had Akawaka with me. 
Because I have Anmi on my side. Come on, man. Come on. Now, this is hard. This is hard because you have to go right in the middle without touching them. I'm not going to make it. Of course, I didn't make it. Oh, you son of a Goomba. And game over. Dern game over. Super scary, dude. Especially since I'm playing this during the dark and, you know, there's no lights on. Um, of course, a lot of people complain about the game over screen. And I'm going to have to agree, you know. Game over screen sucks. Like, I mean, there's two ways it can suck. The first one is, like, you know, the screen has, like, a lot of multiple screens in a way. You know, exact same model, you know, with Uka Uka and everything. But, I mean, like, um, you know, how it's supposed to look. Because, you know, sometimes it's pale. Sometimes, you know, it's super dark. Or sometimes it's normal. Sometimes it's uh, um, not so dark. Or, you know, you can kind of see Uka Uka there, you know, with the brightness and everything. And they do really need to fix that, you know, that's like the huge, huge problem about this. Now, I did hear them saying that they did some, you know, game over screens, you know, on purpose. Except, you know, there's ones that, you know, you can tell are not on purpose. And those are just like the, um, the ones they really need to fix. Oh my, flipping God, I actually made it. I thought I was about to fall down. I was about to fall down, dudes. Alright, I got the purple crystal. Ooh, gotta do it fast, you know. Oh my, flipping God. I almost went to the death road and I died. Now I can't go to the death road. Oh my flipping god. Now it's not there anymore. Thank Thank you, dude. Thank you for missing me the opportunity to go to the death road. Come on. Pull you over. My flipping god. Now, you know when I was a kid and you know when I first saw the the death road, you know my parents, my dad is, you know, especially said, you know, don't go there, you know. Because that's like a bad sign, you know. Skulls represent bad things, you know. Either toxic, death, or, you know, something similar to that. So, you know, I listened to my father, you know. He was like, you know, don't go to, you know, that road. Or don't, you know, go to that platform. So, you know, I kind of avoided it for like a year, you know, while playing the game. But I decided to man up and I was like, you know, what the hell do I go when you, you know, you enter those little death routes? I entered super difficult at least um you know for Wrath of Cortex you know to make it difficult they added uh lots of TNT crates you know and lots of nitro crates especially you know to make the game supposedly hard except you know while playing the original after you know Wrath of Cortex you can tell how like they put a little effort on you know Wrath of Cortex and you know they really showed them uh, she'll fix that and I guess in a future crash game in a way all right, giving you the colder shoulder, the boulder, and over here we have Polar. Oh, look at that cute little guy! Look how he like, look he barks like a dog. Look how cute he is, and like how he you know moves his little head, and you know, ooh, you see that little? That's an that's an amazing improvement. Now I'm sorry, but I am going to be using you for the money because that's the only thing that I care about. The money. I'm just joking. I don't care about the money. Come on, man. Come on. And I look how many lives I'm getting because I'm hitting you. All right. See you later, alligator. I'll see you in the other side. And then I see this guy. Now, Barrett. You know, based off you know the phrase "grin and Barrett." You know, yeah, we have to you have to deal with something unpleasant in a good way. You know, in a good humor way. Now we get to get to ride our second animal. The first one being the Werehog, and this one being my favorite out of like the whole, you know, animal crew. And do love. Oh my flipping god! What the flipping hell? Oh, here you can counter a lot of glitches. You know, when playing plus pol you while playing with Polar Bird, actually, lot tons, 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 and tons of glitches. Oh, of course, Crash doing the little uh, Rapey Davy, you know, eyes. To each animal he encounters, like he's gonna do something extremely bad to each and single one of them. Come on, Crash, come on. Ooh. Get the lives. Come on. Sally, uh, you know, as we're kind of torturing, you know, uh, Polar over here, don't look. I, I, I don't know why he didn't leave Crash, you know, because you know, he does appear in Warped. But for some reason, he stays with Crash. Even though Crash really tortured him, 
but you know he returns into insanity though as a villain uh, I think there's like two ways you know why he turned on them you know the first one being this you know you know uh, him you know riding him all the time torturing him you know getting himself killed and then the second one is like you know the the life's type of thing you know where you hit him you know for like lives and stuff like that you know you kind of use them and then you know the third one is uh you la you're leaving him in warp because you know in the original you, you see him you know running but then you know he just stops and he's like you know you know everybody leaves him you know crash coco aquaku just leave the poor little guy to burn in hell Ooh, but do love my boy little polar such a cute and amazing character and i guess you know when they were marketing this game you know they had to get something cute you know cuter than crash and you know they have they found uh my boy polar okay let's oh my fucking why do i keep dying on that exact same spot all right let's see if i can like not die at all all right let's see no dash or anything i have to like keep jumping and but doing it i like the exact uh pose or the exact timing you know all right and there you go as you know it crash falls down and there you go no butts were heard or no butts were inserted to the bone and level two or level three out you know polar bear does look a lot of like like the coca-cola bear you know the polar bears but of course uh every polar bear looks the exact same thing you know nothing's changed loading dog oh, god damn it if only had the ps4 pro where like the loading screens were like uh, five seconds or something i'm, I'm not sure Crash Crush. Ooh, Crash has to crush on me. Ooh, how lovely. Come on, Crash Crush. Uh, hint, sliding can help you avoid dangerous obstacles. Well, of course it does. Though, love, you know, the little feature they did add, you know, the sliding, you know, on uh, Crash 2, and really comes a lot of handy, you know, especially when getting the time trials, which a lot of people hate. Um, because, you know, the time trials aren't meant for, you know, Crash 2 and 3, you know, Crash 2 and 1st. And, you know, well, before I, you know, you know, trying to get, trying to use them, I did kind of agree, you know, that, you know, uh, just because Crash 3 had it, you know, that didn't have to mean that he had Adam in Crash 1 or 2. But, um, you know, while playing it again, you know, with the Golden Relics and everything, yeah, I can, can kind of see why they added it, uh, you know. Even thought they didn't give any like physical or any power ups in Crash One, Crash Two they give you like the shoes and everything. Crash One is all just about like arcade. Like yeah, you either beat it, you either beat the game or not. Check bounce. Come on, Polar or whatever, Boulder Shoulder, the one I gave you the cooler shoulder. Oh my flipping god. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's go. What the flipping hell? Oh my god. Alright, let's do it again, my dudes. Let's do it again. Oh, what the flipping hell. Alright, let's do it again. Come on. This time with style, dudes. This time with style. Okay, do not die, Crash. Do not die at all. Alright? Avoid the little, uh, little electricity type of thing. Alright, come on, Crash. Keep running, keep running. You've only had the little uh, running shoes from Crash 3. And you get them in Crash 2 as well, once you beat Dr. Cortex. Oh my god, I got the purple crystal before that little uh, ball, whatever that thing is, you know, gets me. Alright. Oh my flipping god. You know, according to, like, the... Oh my flipping... Did I get a game over screen? Oh, I, oh, I thought I was gonna get it. You know, according to, like, the Crash Bandicoot 2, you know, uh, Japanese um, trailer... Um, you know, this is supposed to be set in daytime instead of, like, the evening. Because, you know, you can kind of see, like, the little, um, you know, reddish slash orange, uh... Oh my fucking god. Why, god, why? Alright. But, yeah, you can kind of see, like, the little reddish and orange, you know, um, lighting, you know, coming from it. You know, I guess they changed it to, like, another one. 
you know, with like the mama bears, the mama polar bears. You know, when the mama sings, you know, to uh, get up and it's time to go to work or something. Alright, I think I'm making it. And I made it. There you go. 34 out of 57 boxes. Now, what I do, you know, wish they kind of added was like the little boxes, you know, like you missed, you know, this, 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 and this. Because, you know, they had it for like the first Crash game. You know, I didn't see a reason why not to bring it back, you know, make it a bit more hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, loading. Dude, what the flippin' hell is up with the loading? Alright, we are back. Like neck. Alright, let's go to the eel deal, because what is the deal, eel? The, the level's title is like a possibility of a pun of like, you know, the real deal. You know, popul a popular worth saying reference to, you know, something that is, you know, you know unique or authentic. You know, this level is supposed to be like in the you know fourth warp room, you know, instead of a instead of, instead of a cold hard crash, but you know, cold hard crash is like the hardest level of like the crash game. So you know, I definitely see why they like they kept it as you know as it is right now, and I'm glad they did. But like you know, um. The first level of this warp room is like kind of like the only snow level. Even though like this whole uh, warp room is based off like snow, it's kind of like how you know how they did with war, uh, you know Doctor Neocortex. You know he only had like one uh, futuristic level, and then that was it. The other ones were like uh, things you know that people have done before. Or, oh my fucking god! Can Crash just turn into a mutant or something? You know, instead of dying, go going with God. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, GG, GG. You yeah, gotta, you gotta, kind of wait. And I can also step on the little, uh, little iguanas or snakes or type of thing. It's pretty amazing. Did I go here before? I don't remember going here. All right, whatever. Come on, boulder shoulder, you know, give me the cooler shoulder. God damn. It looks like a sushi bar or something, you know, while they're trying to kick me up and have to escape in order to avoid death. Now, come on, man. Keep. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. Alright, there you go. Kind of, you know, having a bit of difficulty, you know, while trying to, you know, reach the the ending for some reason. And this is actually like the first, uh, you know, super theme level, you know, in like the Crash series, you know, if you didn't knew that. Yeah, that's pretty an, an interesting fact, you know. You know, and then it continues off from Warp, you know, then Wrath of Cortex, you know. Kind of starts like a bit of a leg. Oh my flipping god. <sighs> oh god. This is what I hate. It's kind of like a jump scare, you know. You forget the main reason, you know, you you go to the level. And this happened to me, like, during the first warp room of, like, you know, the pits or something. You know, the pits is that, you know, there's two routes into this whole thing. You know, there's, like, the route, you know, the exit. And then there's, like, the route with the crystal, you know. You have to go to both of them. You have to go to the crystal first, you know, and then go to the exit in order, you know, of course, to reach the end. But, you know, I always, you know, just go to the exit, never go, you know, to the second route and see if, you know, there's like a purple crystal or anything, but, oh god, I'm, I'm such a mess right now, come on. Alright, let's go. The little Akuaku, uh, I think I'm supposed to go to this part, or is it this one? You know, let's try to get the little gym so we can, like, unlock a, my boy Embryo. Love how you can just, like, go through the little, uh, little gates. Come on. Oh, is this getting like super difficult or something? Getting super, uh, super hardy crashing? Oh, it's just taking a bit too long. Alright, there you go. Now, usually there's like supposed to be like a warp room or something, you know, to kind of take me back, you know, because like the whole thing, you know, kind of zooms and, you know, goes back in, then land on a platform. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm taking everyone with me if I'm dying right now. 
Oh my god, these cyborg robots are rats. At least I got the the purple crystal or whatever it's called. The green gem. I got the green gem, my dude. Alright, let me just get the purple crystal and get the hell out of here. Come on, Aqua Walker. Let's get the hell out of here. These guys are crazy as hell, dude. Little rats, you know, looking like a, a Master Splinter getting a cyborg getting robotized by uh, Dr. Robotnik. And uh, Sonic Underground. Do you guys hate Son Sonic Underground? I love it. I don't see why people hate it. Uh, of course, you know, there's the whole musical part, but... No, I mean, yeah. Kind of did have a bit of a problem with the musical. But, you know, with, like, the story and everything, you know, how the show goes. I thought it was pretty amazing. Uh, you know, kind of adding a bit of darkness into the show. You know, the kids having to find his uh, mother. But, sadly, the TV show was canceled. And, you know, we never got to see, you know, Sonic's brothers, Manic, I think. And Sonia, you know, go back into action. Uh, they're dead or something. I don't know. I don't forget what they did to him. Alright, come on. Let the electricity flow. What the hell, dude? Alright, let's go back. Only have three lives this time. What the flipping hell? What the flipping hell? Alright. Alright, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Because I don't have a damn aqua walker to protect me. I only have my power of anime. Come on. Throw your little electricity type of thing. Take your little jumbie jungle go home. Take your little jumbie slope go home. Ooh, step you on. Step you on. Oh, this isn't over? What the flippin' hell? I guess you know what they say. It ain't over. Alright, whatever. It ain't over till it's over. Okay. Come on, come on. I hate how, you know, in Wrath of Cortex, they make, like, the little, you know, stairs. Or, not the stairs, but, like, the, um, the little playground or type of thing that, you know, that you're supposed to be climbing on. Uh, you know, really, 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 uh, slow. Like, they made Crash super slow, dude. Holy flippin' hell. Reach the second level. Warp Room 2 to a close or at least you know i have to defeat the the boss battle komodo bros which is supposed to be cut some sort of like dragons or anything or something like that so come on bring them to me stop the war loading times dude. the loading times super cancerous get the hell get that away from my face i hate the loading times Ooh, got the purple crystal and the purple gem is coming out of his asshole of course doing the little crash dance that he did back in uh 2016 when i first got the game not 2016, 2017. Right, let's get the hell out of here. No, don't give two craps about your little talk, Dr. Docker. The only doc I need is Doc Brown. And we got the Komodo Bros. Love how, you know, uh, there's no, like, little um, electricity thing that, pro you know, kind of, like, prevents you from entering. So, you know, kind of uh, keeping it fresh, you know, from warp. Ooh, love the detail on the Komodo Bros, dude. It looks super amazing. You know, they just look at you, stare at you, and they're ready to fight. So, are like the real ninjas, or are they just like, uh, just some random guys? Ooh. One hit. And, of course, it he got hit by his own brother. Come on, dude, come on. Try to fight me, come on. Fist fight, dude, fist fight. Stop using swords. Ooh. Come on, man. Of course, now he's spinning down. Spinning like Crash Bandicoot. Come on, come on. And, whoa, 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 okay. There you go, there you go. Hit him once. Come on, man, come on. Of course, it's not going to be difficult because, you know, uh, a lot of things are easier in the game, you know, to kind of appeal to the, the, the younger audience. And now we're being chased by the little dragoon while trying to run from these little uh, katanas and there you go you are defeated this is one of the most easiest boss battles ever dude i'm not gonna lie this is an easy boss battle you know there's like hard boss battles like kind of like a little tiny tiger you know embryo cortex is like the easiest actually out of all of them i forgot 
loading the Wumpa Islands, or the Warp Room, of course. The first game to, you know, kind of like introduce the Warp Room, and, you know, of course, Wrath of Cortex takes a lot of advantage, to, advantage out of that, you know. Can't come up with something new, so, you know, they kind of have to bring back the Warp Room. And we have Embryo. Look at Embryo. Look at him, dude. Returning back with a cutscene, and, of course, having feelings. His feelings getting crunched by Cortex, because... You know, he had to um, he had to get replaced by uh, Doctor uh, Engine. You know, you had to get him, man. You had to get him. You had to do it to him. My God, really disturbing. How the hell did he get those little uh, um, little nails or whatever that is are uh, into his head? Like, how did he get stuck there? He just fell down in his head and you know, land in those sticks. Destroy and the Whatever, dude. What the hell? Are, I don't know what the hell. Just, just stop talking. This embryo, dude. Love how he talks. You know, uh, super weird how he talks, though. Um, he looks like he's drunk all the time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my part two of my Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy on Crash Bandicoot 2. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.